Hi guys, this is Andrew from PRDB Entertainment. Uh, I'm going to present you guys tutorial number two for the Torque 3D game engine. First of all, open your project. Let's wait until it loads up. Okay, from here, we choose uh, play, click on host, so you can edit uh, the game. And here we are on our world editor. Now, <coughs> this is the game if you want to enter to a world editor, press the function key 11. Now from here, you will be working with your map. Now, I have already showed you guys on the first tutorial how to work with the uh, ground plane and with the skybox. So I'm not going to touch uh, these right now. I'm just going to work with the editors for the terrain editor, terrain painter, and forest editor. So, first of all, let's try to create a couple of mountains. And for that, we need to go to the top window on editors and choose terrain editor. If you don't have an editor, uh, a terrain, he will ask you if you want to create a new terrain. Just click on yes. He will ask you for a name. I'm going to give him terrain 1, grass 1, 512 and we are going to add some noise to it so we uh, can create a couple of mountains around hit the create new there we go and we are inside the mountain okay i'll work with you later now free camera so you can run around and see what you are doing now we have a couple of mountains here I'm gonna go this way here now from here uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to work with the tools for the terrain so you can add more terrain level up the terrain like rise it up or lower it down and to work with a smooth now for that click on ed uh, terrain editor and you will have your toolbox for the terrain editor from here you can raise the height, you can lower the height, you can smooth the terrain, paint the noise, flatten, set height, clear terrain, and restore terrain. We're going to be working only with the raise height, the lower height, and the smooth. Now click on raise height. Let's try to work here. The size of the brush. Let's make it big. There we go. Now I'm raising the terrain, as you can see. The terrain is really above uh, the ground plane, so that's why it, it uh, takes a while to, to raise up the terrain. If you want to lower the terrain, just click on the lower height icon. And from here, you can lower the terrain. If you want to smooth the terrain, click on the smooth icon and you can smooth that out a little bit. Now that looks better. Now, finishing with the tools here, I want to add a couple of trees to the map. Now for that you need to go to the forest editor. And in the forest editor, you will have only one object if you haven't uh but a couple of add-ons to add to the engine so for from here just click on the sample element if you don't have uh, haven't bought uh, bought anything okay now choose uh, the paint icon that you have let's give the size full because I want to do this quick it will ask you if you want to create a forest if you want to add it, click on yes. It's because you don't have a forest on your map. Also, let's add trees around the map. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a couple of trees here because I want this to look like a forest. There we go. Now, let's change 
the way the mountain looks it looks like rocky I want to change it for grass or something like that well, I can leave it like this it looks pretty nice I just need to change a little bit the size of the material now for that you need to go to the top of your window to editor and choose terrain painter double click where it says uh, maybe grass or rocks uh, or rock test or whatever material you have added to that terrain and from here you can choose on the detail you can uh, put less resolution to this let me see how it looks now it looks better it looks way better from far away the game uh, doesn't look that nice because we are in the engine but it's not the same when you uh, compile the game you play the game normally now <coughs> if you want to change the texture the material that the terrain has just double click on that material click on edit and diffuse and just choose the material that you want to add click apply and there you have it if you want to add a new layer so you can have a couple of materials to add uh, to, uh, to the terrain to the map just click on new layer choose rock test or just create another one with a name with a new name Let's choose rock here. Let's leave the second one the same. And now let's paint the top of the mountains to make it look a little bit rocky. Okay. So now I'm gonna test this. So let's change the camera to player camera. Let's hit the F11 key. That's the function key. And from here, we are going to see our map. Looking nice, huh? But we still got the ground plane really flat. So you need to work more with the train now this is way much better look at this well guys uh... okay we got a lot of trees here let me get out of here so it's looking nice this engine is pretty cool. I hope you guys uh, learn uh, to work with this engine as quick as I did. Let me see if I can still get something for you guys from here. Mm, we got no, we got a couple of things here, but I'm gonna create different tutorials for this. Um, anyway, guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Uh, Hit the like button, write a comment if you haven't subscribed. Don't, for don't forget to subscribe. If you have some suggestions about this uh, engine or something that may help on the tutorials, feel free to comment. Bye.